welcome to the Kirsty Miki YouTube channel! Um, I so need a better intro than that. I think I do prefer the, the swivelly chair one. But I'll start going backwards. <laughs> so, we're going to do my nails today. I say we, I'm, I'm going to do it. I always do the royal we. Yeah. The royal we. Royal we. Mm. I'm doing them. Um, because Adam's definitely not doing it. No, never again. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to do my non-dominant hand. So I'm going to use, sorry, I'm going to use my non-dominant hand to do the nails on my right hand, because I'm right-handed. So I'm going to use my left hand to do my right hand. So let's see how that works out. So as you can see on this hand, I've had, um, this is the, fle not flexi gel, it's called fibre gel. So it's a fibre gel, it's a bit like a build in the bottle kind of, but it's got fibres in it that make it really strong. I've had it on for about eight weeks as you can tell. So I think this is kind of what a lot of people are going to turn up to nail salons looking like when, you know, they haven't been able to get an appointment because the appointments are just going to go like that because in England nobody's been able to have their nails done so I think it's quite a good example of that and clearly mine look like this because I've had no time to do them <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I take this off as well because this, because this is a, um, a fibre gel I'm going to use the mandrel bit and the sanding bands to actually remove that so I'm not going to soak them I'm actually just going to remove it with the sanding bands, but I'm going to use the medium grit. So that's that one there. The fine grit we'll use when we come down to the bare, the bare wood. And we get to bare nail. So medium grit sanding band. And we're going to go, where's my little marker? So, oh God, this is all with my left hand. Oh, Jesus Christ. I might, I might kill somebody. Right, I'm going to make sure that wires this side so it doesn't. If it's here, it's gonna, it's gonna interfere, isn't it? So I'm going to make sure that that's that side of my hand. And then, if I want to pull this way, I need to reverse the ro the um, rotation. So if you look on your electric files, you should have a forward and a reverse. But if I want to just pull, push away, I can leave it like that. But because I'm using my left hand, I'm going to put it in reverse. So. <laughs> As you can see, I'm trying to go not super fast, but I'm keeping quite a smooth motion going across the nail. But I'm always moving. That's super important, especially when you're using a mandrel bit and your sanding bands because you want to keep moving because they will build heat. Now, I can pull this way as well. So we're just getting rid of the bulk of the product and I'm making sure I'm balancing. So whenever you're using your opposite hand, this is super important to make sure you balance. I mean, I always balance when I'm using my right hand as well, but if you're using your non-dominant hand, that is extra important to make sure you're balancing. Don't kind of like hold your hand like that and go for it. You've got, you've got no stability there. You need to make a connection and keep going. Get the balance. And now you'll notice I'm actually moving my thumb now. I'm not moving the um, handpiece of the electric file. I feel comfortable moving my thumb because I'm right-handed, so I'm moving the right thumb. So you've got more control over your Yeah, right. definitely. Definitely. I mean, some people, I don't know how you have these ambidextrous people because, I, I mean, that would be amazing if I was, but that I'm not. So I'm monitoring this and looking how, you know, how, how low I'm going. Can I see the natural nail coming through? And that's the point where I'm actually going to change the sanding band. So as I look at this now, I can, I can, let me just dust off. 
Now this brush is from Wow. Yeah, we can't say this name. I can't say it anyway. Wow, wow. I think it's wow, wow. But you think it's wow, wow. I think it's wow. Wow. Bayo. I don't know. You were really short there, that's why you just look. Yeah, so, <laughs> sorry. So, if you can see, I can just start to see my natural nail coming through. See the colour at the end? So, and I can see where there are thicker places because it's got slightly more colour. So you can skip on that. But then, we can change. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to go down to the fine sanding band. What grit are they, do you know? 240. So the fine sanding band is a 240 grit. And you're going to ask me what the medium is, and I can't remember. <laughs> Does it say it on the website? It, I think it definitely says it on the website. Oh, well, there we go. Check out the website, folks. Yeah. So I'm just letting this skip over. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it at all. And what you can do as well is you can prep the back of the nail with the fine grit. And we're just going to keep going gently till I remove all of that gel. So this is what I'm going to do on all of my nails. And they'll all be nice and prepped. I am going to do the cuticle area. So. See, we can see that bit of gel there. Let's get that off. You can definitely feel the difference as well between, you know, filing on top of gel or filing on top of the natural nail. And I don't mean just like I can feel, but like physically feel it. I can feel it within the hand piece as well. Right, so what we're going to do now, turn that off, take that band off, disposable so they can go in the bin, and then I'm going to do my cuticle, so I'm going to use the cuticle bit, again making sure that wire is on that side of my hand, I'm going to go nice and slow, and I'm in reverse, so I feel like I'm in a car, I'm in reverse, so I'm going to come down, if you want your hand piece if you want to use a hand piece like this, then you'll only be able to use it on this side because it's pushing away. So this is pushing away and then I have to change the angle of the hand piece. So we kind of work in this L shape, okay? And then this side, if you want to keep your hand in this position, we're going to flip to forward. And then that's still going to push away the cuticle. Now I get really dry cuticles. Because so I do not put enough cuticle oil on. And I'm always, you know, got nail products and things like that. And I try my best to not get it on my skin, you know, with acetone and IPA and things like that. But, you know, it's like we're nail tech. Your nails never look as good as the ones that you do for everybody else. So I'm just removing any non-living tissue. So if we have a look at this, we can tell it looks a lot better, doesn't it now? And then, turn it off. I'm going to use the proximal fold bit. So the proximal fold bit is to go around the proximal fold. What is the proximal fold? So the proximal fold is this area here. So it's this skin here, yeah? Now you want to still make sure that that's pushing back. So if you imagine the proximal fold surrounds the nail. Now I've got a lot of dry skin here. You're just giving yourself a massage, aren't you? And I'm just doing a bit of exfoliation. Yeah. 
again making sure everything's pushing away from the natural nail look at the dry skin you need it on a low speed don't put it on a high speed so you want sort of balance between four sorry five and seven thousand rpm That's probably as good as I'm going to get my dry skin. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's prepped. We're going to file the free edge. So I'm going to use a 240 grit file to file the free edge. So this is our normal standard file with a plastic center board. We also do files that have a metal center board, which are our reusable and disposable files. So you have a re reusable metal center board and you have a disposable file paper that go on to that. But I'll show you that a little bit later in the video. So I'm going to take off any of the lens because I don't want that. So there we are. And let's make the rest to look like that because, oh dear, look at them, what a sight. Cuticles done, nails prepped. Now we're going to go and put, we're going to put tips on because I'm definitely not going to sculpt this hand. I will in other videos, just not today. So we're going to use the Nail Gargar Pro Nail System and we're going to use their Double XL tips so these are like they think they call them coffin tips but you know i don't like the word coffin those of you that have watched my previous videos you will know that darling we call it a ballerina it's a ballerina nail so i'm going to size these up they have a short little wow i'm happy with that that's a size four then i've got a size five here let's go with this middle one. Oh yeah size five so let's look at what number seven looks like on my index. Yeah, so what you don't want to do is sort of splay it out like that, push it up. You want to make sure your tips are running in line with your natural nail. Okay, we like that. So if that's a number seven, I'm going to gamble that this finger is a number six. And it sure is. And then let's see how tiny my little finger is. That's a number 10. So these go all the way to a number 11. So they've actually got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sizes. That's different. I'm going to wipe over with the Nail Perfect Nail Scrub, Blue Scrub, because I haven't got one from um, Nail Gargar as yet. So we're going to clean over my nails. And as I do that, I'm going to push back the cuticle as well. Okay, so they're all dehydrated and we're going to glue them on. We're going to use the Wow Bow or Wow Bayo. <sighs> Just give up. Just something and just stick to Do you know it. what? They're going to send me a, a voicemail, aren't they, saying this is how it's said. <laughs> so it's quite thin, this glue is, which means it will set pretty quick. So you want to make sure you've got it nice and straight. Now I've got some little tweezers. These tweezers are, these are out of the, um, you know, the bling box, mm. crystal box. 7,000 pieces? That one. Oh, that doesn't have 7,000 in anymore. Not anymore, because I've used about 1,000. <laughs> so I'm just going to use them to just add a little pressure at the side, just so I know that they are really, you know, secure at the side. The nail's curling for 
some strange reason. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but not. It's like look. So these are straight nippers. I like straight nippers. Nippers, cutters, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to cut that off. So this is what you do if you have got a nail on and you don't think it's straight. Maybe you could take it off by. Just abrasing the surface, cut it down, abrase the surface, take it down in length as well, and then get some acetone on a pad or a lint free wipe or a not so lint free wipe. Mm -hmm. Linted wipes. Yeah, definitely linted these ones are. The, so I'm going to use the Nail Comey Apple Gel and Tip Remover, and I'm just going to hold that on there for a minute. And that'll start to soak it. Right, so we've melted that, and then you can just go over the top, and that'll, you'll get rid of that. No drama. We just smell nice, that, that acetone does, because it's apple. Not for consumption. So let's dehydrate that again. See, let's just size it up. Yep, yeah, that's right. Not twisted. slightly paranoid about the twisted business but it's not twisted now so it was definitely the tip that made that twisted I have never come across that before but that will definitely be down to a tip getting trapped in the packaging so always make sure that they sat really flat pinch the sides and then we're going to do the same with all the rest so I've got an issue. I don't think I can leave them this long because this is just crazy long and I don't know how they handle these all day, every day. Okay? 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 Um, I think they look beautiful though. Like, I love them. But I won't even be able to get my skates on with them on. Like, I'm going to cut them down. Okay, so, yeah, here we go. I'm going to, like, tip cutters are never going to get into that C-curve. That C-curve is pretty insane for a tip. Like, all the structure, I do feel a little bit badass with them on. And am I going to feel as badass when I take them down? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to take them down, and I need, I want them long, I want them look long, I've got a photo shoot tomorrow, I want them look long, I want them look amazing, but I need to be able to do things, and, you know, I can't always do things with them so long, I used to be able to, but now I just incapacitate myself. Oh, I wonder if we do, what if we do? What if we do, I know I love it so much. No, we're not going to do that because I've done too many of them, haven't I? I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm talking to myself a little bit. We do it a lot. Um, I was going to do, we could change this into a modern almond, but I'm not going to because I've got too many videos of that. <laughs> I'm going to take them down. Right there, I reckon. Now, when a tip's got such a C curve as this, you will need to use straight tip cutters, straight like that, little nippers like this. Straight ones are far better than your curved ones because your curved ones will actually like curve the cut. So, I don't feel so badass anymore. Mm. <gasps> I don't feel so badass anymore. What is it about long nails that make you feel badass? You know this, Adam, don't you? Yeah, totally, absolutely. I mean, mine are like, what, not even a millimetre. <laughs> I just want to just roughly shape this, because I just want to make sure that I definitely want to keep it this length and not want to put like another. Yeah, I'll be happy, won't I? <laughs> are you ever I'm... happy? I just, do you look at that? 
compared to that. That's even going to be long for me. Yeah, I'm going to stop stop being naughty. So I'm going to take off the same amount on all of them, but I'm going to show you how I prep. So if I'm doing it on myself, I'm going to use a, I can use a 180 grit file, or I can use the um, sanding bands, but because I'm doing it on myself, I actually find it easier to use a file and rub with my right hand against the file rather than using the electric file. Does that make sense? It makes lots of sense. Yeah, I can just do it like that and just blend it in a bit. But because we're doing a product that has gel properties in it, I'm gonna be using the Nail Ultima, Nails Ultima gel, which is a profile acrylic gel or acro gel. Profile aqua gel. Um, I need the nail to be matte. This is important, important steps. If you have fast forwarded past this step, you are going to make a mistake. Please don't fast forward, just chill, get a brew, glass of wine, watch the videos, learn, have fun, watch me and Adam be very silly. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> We know you silly. Right, so let's do that on all of them now. And as if by magic. Ta -da! Right, so here we go. I'm gonna set up my nail file. So this is the file I was talking about earlier. So this is a metal center board. And what we're gonna do is, this is how I like to set it up. I like to have a 180 grit on one side and a 150 grit on the other side. And now I'm thinking maybe I should have done this before I put these long nails on. <laughs> so we've just peeled the back off so it's nice and sticky. Um, <laughs> say I'm going to line it up. It's difficult with, with the long nails. There we are. And then we do the next side. So let's turn it over. Oh, turn it over. Peel the back in. And they peel off the board really easy as well. I know that like some people some companies like leave like a little bit missing so you can peel it up but there's honest to god there's absolutely no need to do it right another thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take a file and take off those sharp edges just so we don't cut so this is the sharp edges that are on the the paper so the actual sandpaper file paper yeah not there's no sharp edges on the actual metal file, so there's no need to worry about that. So this is the product we're gonna use, and I'm just gonna show you what it's like. So this is like a um, acrylic gel, but it's in a pot. You now you see some that are in a tube and you squeeze them out and all that. This one's in a pot form. So the advantages to having it in a pot form are you can scrape every last bit of that out of the pot, yeah? Um, so some people like to squeeze it out the pot, some out the tube, some people like it in a pot. Everybody's different. So I just thought I'd show you this. And the other thing about this product is, like, hello. Oh my God, it's sparkly. We love a bit of sparkle. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, I need a spatula, a spatula. Where is the spatula? Ah, we have spatula here, right. Let's just clean this, these over. Because I've definitely touched them since. Right, so got this girl. in the lid, I'm gonna like prep this brush just by adding a little bit of product to the brush, yeah? So that's all ready to rock and roll. However, I don't know if I am. Um, <laughs> Here we go, it's now or never. So I'm going to oh, take, spin. Here we go. I'm gonna scrape that off in the middle of the nail. 
you'll need IPA to move it around but first of all I am going to slide it down like a gel okay and it doesn't move fast as I'm looking at it so I am definitely now going to clean the brush and use the IPA on the brush to move the product around. See, because I hadn't used it before, I wanted to prep the brush to make sure that if it was a little bit slippy slidey, I could glide that around with the brush and you need a little bit of product on the brush when you're gliding gel around but this is actually not moving anywhere which is amazing i love the color now this type of product is perfect to do your own nails because the fact it's not moving because if this was a hard gel it would be moving quite a lot and if it was acrylic it would be setting as I apply it so this is like the perfect combination because I'm using my left hand hello ladies and gentlemen can we just appreciate that I'm using my left hand to do this right so let's try and just Glide this back a little bit more. Just see if we can get a bit more of an apex. I might need to add a little bit more product and that's fine. One thing I want to do is not over apply product because I don't want to waste. And also, I want to pinch this. Or I want to attempt to pinch it. I don't know if we can pinch it. We will see. Right, so. Right, let's go in the lamp and see if we can actually pinch this. So I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds. You know what, the warmer it is on your natural nail, the more it turns to like gel so it gets warm and it does move a little bit but only when it's getting warm on the natural nail right so let's put this in now i'm going to cure it for way that's getting off oh it's getting a little bit off and i'm just going to come out a little bit because there's this defo uh whoo there's a heat spike there <laughs> okay yeah this is that's fine now Oh, it's coming back a little bit. Oh, oh, it's coming. Oh, it's going now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it? No, it's going. <laughs> I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to pinch it while it's warm. And we're going to see how we go. So this is the nail gargoyle pinching tool as well. Pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty. I can't believe I've just said that. So I'm going to pinch it. Oh my God, it does pinch. Let me just check. That it's not cracked or anything and oh, that's good and then we're going to give it another 30 seconds just so i know it's fully cured yeah see now i'm pinching and it's rock solid so definitely put it in for sort of um 40 seconds give it a pinch and then go back in i mean don't get it wrong they have a super c curve anyway but i'm sort of pinching my natural nail a little bit i am going to add a little bit just for the apex just want a little bit more of an apex, that's all. Not a massive amount, like a little bead. And I am impressed with the glitter, obviously. So we're using the Brendek brush, I don't know if I mentioned that, to maneuver this around. This is our gel brush. And you can even use the Izzy Busy brush if you want more brush 
if you prefer something a little bit bigger, you can actually use the Izzy Busy brush, which is an acrylic brush, but it is perfect for this as well if you want a bigger brush. But I like, I do like a short gel brush. I find I get a little bit more control. So this product's not going to set while I'm applying it. It's only going to set when it goes in the lamp. This is a beautiful colour. Nail Gaga, I am impressed. So you can see I've got more of an apex now with that little bead that's on there. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to do exactly the same on all of these nails. I am going to try and sculpt two at a time. I don't do all four. If you were doing a client, you could totally do all four fingers. But because I'm using my non-dominant hand, I'm a little bit too scared. <laughs> Right, let's try to go a bit thinner with this product. It definitely moves more than other sort of acrylic gels. I'm gonna go upside down, upside down first. One, two, three, four, five. That is burning. But see, the thing is it doesn't need a base coat, so it doesn't require a base coat, so you haven't got that kind of protection. So we just keep going in and out and we'll shake it all about. Um, if you've got a low setting on your lamp, then definitely use that.
Right, so hand upside down. Hand upside down just so we can pull that apex in a little bit because it will it will draw down a little bit when it's on you know bed. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and out. Burning a little bit, but not too bad. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and out. A little bit, little bit, little bit peevish that one. Oh, give it a pinch. Yeah, so we can pinch it really after sort of 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, out. And it is burning. It's burning. There's a heat spark. Imagine all of those things at once. I'd cry. I'd cry so much. Right. One. Let's go see if we can just stay in now. Nope. Can't just stay in yet. Nope. Defo can't stay in yet. Right. So we're going to take the sticky layer off now. And I'm going to use that blue scrub for that. Rock hard they are. Real sturdy, you know. Feel the right, right sturdy. So, because this is a metal centre board, it's going to stay nice and strong at the sides. And this is the hardest side to file for me because it's the most difficult side for me to see. So, I with the thumb, it's a little bit easier with the with the finger because I can come like this and I can really bend myself round and I can really see the sides. This side is like so easy for me to file because I can see it. So my left side is the easiest side to file on all the fingers. Now with the fingers we can come to the side like this but then when it comes to the thumb, well you know doesn't doesn't do that <laughs> so we have to sort of do it upside down so you can do it like that upside down or you can really try and bring it around like that but that's just really uncomfortable so we kind of do it upside down so think about the left side when you do your thumb put it slightly upside down check down the barrel make sure they are the same heights so when you're looking down the barrel like this you want them to be the same height each side okay. I'm going to come around the cuticle area with the round side of the file you could use an electric file if you want to, but at this point I feel quite confident that it's quite neat. This nail is anyway. <laughs> Don't know about the other ones. Don't forget, I'm using my left hand. All right, can you not judge me today? So we've done that bit, and then what I like to do is do the sides first. And when I say the sides, I mean like the top part of the side. So I'm gonna come flat, very flat and straight down. And I'm going to check underneath how much can we file. We can file a little bit more. We've got plenty of product to go at. Same this side. And I'm using the 150 grit now. So that's the strongest side of the file that I set up. You might set yours up a little bit different. You might want 100 grit. Or you might want 180 or 150 on each on both sides. Okay. Check down the barrel again. Check underneath. Really check underneath to see the thickness. Is the thickness the same on each side? So that's really important as well. To look here. Are they the same thickness? Have you got any more filing to do? If they're too thick, then you can file a little bit more. So once you've done that, oh, I like it. It's so long. 
And then, so once you've got those sides done, we're going to contour. And look what I'm doing. Again, I'm using this hand to rub across the file. And you can be able to see in a moment that this is marrying them together. I'm rotating my thumb and I haven't touched the apex area. And you can see that by the filing. Yeah? Because I just wanted to get this very tubular shape done first. So that's very flat and you can sort of see from the side. So you can see from the side, I'm not touching this area. I'm just touching this area. And that's how you want to do it. And then if you want to soften or need to soften the apex, you can just do that as well. And I'm just going to buff this now so you can see what this is like finished again. I'm moving my right hand across the buffer. So use your dominant hand for the movement. Nice, can't wait to top coat it. But we're going to file all these first, okay? So I'm just going to wipe over these, get rid of the dust. I've, I have dusted them with the brush, but I, you know, you can't get every last bit of dust off with the brush. We want to use the solutions, the IPA to get rid of that. Oh! Get used to these. <laughs> There's the rat football and she goes with the big long nails. So that's so silly. Okay. <gasps> mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to top coat these now. I have got the Nail Gar Gar uh, finishing gloss. Sorry, glossy finishing gel. I just made the name up. Like that. Ah. And when we put this on, oh no, fuzzy, get rid of the fuzzy. When we put this on, we're going to see all of the shine, sparkle. Oh my god, it's so nice. Okay, so let's put the So I'm going to put this on my face just so I can basically twist my hand like this and I know that the thumb is getting lots of light. There are lots of curves on this nail so I want the light to go all the way around. When you put your hand in the light, in, into the lamp, some people put it in like this so it sits very flat on its side and that's something I don't want to do. Look at the state of those nails. <laughs> How did that happen? I don't even know. This? Yeah. I was in bed and I was like, oh, okay, where have you gone? <laughs> and I still have not found it. <laughs> so I'm going to coat them all. Nice shiny top coat. It's a nice thin top coat. Okay, so I'm So I'm going to go on with my favourite cuticle oil. I mean, somebody can send us more cuticle oils and we can test how they pull theirs out. Not this one at the minute. Indigo Rama Queen is my favourite. I 
I like the sparkle. So there we are. That's how to create a ballerina or slash coffin if you really want to call it that. Um, acrylic gel, acro gel, poly gel, profile gel. Basically, it's acrylic and gel mixed together, basically, but in a very superior way. How to create those? On tips. Using your non dominant hand. I'm impressed. They're all right. I like them. I don't know how long I'm going to keep them this length, but we'll see. <laughs> so there we are. Don't forget, if we've used anything today that you, you want to know where to get it from, it's going to be in the description. It's going to be in the description box below. And yeah, so get to check us out on Facebook as well and Instagram. I post daily on Instagram, so you can always head over to there as well. And I will see you in the next video. Ta -da, ta -da. definitely couldn't do my makeup with my left hand. Oh, I think we should do that on a video. <laughs> that would be really cool. <laughs> Left-handed makeup. Um, Anybody comment below if you want to see um, that. I, I don't think that'll turn out too great. Yeah, <laughs> Can you do the makeup as well at the same time with your left hand? Do you do your makeup? Yes. We've both, both got to do full drag makeup. Why is it the drag queen? Oh, we love the drag queen. Just in my life, Yeah, we love drag. Oh my god. Maybe. Yeah. You you find it funny. Just a little bit. Ooh, uh, Just a little bit, ooh, ah, uh, a little bit more, ooh. Just a bit more. Just a bit more. Have a bit more on there, Adam. Be right. <laughs>